Welcome back to After the Whistle, Phil Bonatti here introducing Tristan Thomas to the KX Sports family. Tristan, welcome to North Dakota. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Excited to have you on the sports team and be here up in Minot. And, you know, take me through, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself a little bit of uh, where you came from and how you got here. Yeah, so I'm from Illinois. I grew up in a small town of Muhammad, Illinois, right by kind of Champaign, University of Illinois, that area, and just graduated from college. Uh, we're recording this on a Monday, or a, what day is it? A Monday? Thursday. 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 It's, it's my Monday, basically. <laughs> anyway, so we're recording this on a Thursday. The last Saturday, I graduated from Eastern Illinois University in Charleston, Illinois. And, you know, I really just love sports. Sports has basically always been my passion since, I mean, it's been a long time since I've been watching sports and playing sports. Uh, so it's, you know, that just kind of led me to this field, this TV sports broadcasting field. And that's uh, led me to my first job here in Minot. What kind of excites you about the prospect of, uh, of bringing the stories to the people here and, 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 and what you can kind of learn about this area here with sports? Yeah, so I really have grown an appreciation for telling local stories, those high school stories. Um, and this is, seems like a perfect place to do that. I mean, you know, you can really learn about a community and, and what what they like and what sports are important and you know tell some of those uh, really cool human interest stories that you find in sports it's not just about the highlights and the scores i love those don't get me wrong but it's also about you know showing you know an athlete's a, a team's a coach's motivation and, and what drives them and just getting into those those deep human interest stories i think is is really cool uh you know it, it was there kind of a core memory a little bit a, a memory that kind of caught you onto the sports bug a little bit and, 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 and wanted you to be a part of this world? Yeah, I mean, it started, I, I want to say, right around like 2007 or so, kind of started watching football with my dad, and then I eventually played football from fourth grade until senior year. I was an offensive lineman starting center my senior year on varsity, and, you know, from there, it was, I always kind of had a knack. I think when I was like a really, really little kid, I was into like monster trucks, and my, my mom will always say, oh yeah, Tristan always knew all the drivers and all the trucks and stuff, so that, I think, just carried over into sports where I just can kind of be an encyclopedia of random, you know, NFL, NBA, college, whatever sports knowledge. And then from there, it was like, I remember my sophomore year in high school, I decided, okay, I want to be a sports broadcaster. How do I do that? How do I make money covering sports? And, you know, that's kind of led me here eventually. I initially wanted to do like play-by-play -play for a team, you know, that was something I thought I wanted to do, but kind of change career paths, you know, midway through college and decided to do, uh, you know, TV sports. I've, you know, always enjoyed editing and putting together packages and all that stuff. So it's been uh, a, a few, few different ways of, you know, deciding what I want to do, but it's kind of led me to uh, TV. Ultimately, what's behind that was the uh, just love of sports. Uh, you know, and you got to be passionate here, and you mentioned all those encyclopedic knowledge. Of course, you're going to have to have encyclopedic knowledge of all the different Class B teams we have here, all the Class A teams as well. There is a lot to cover here in North Dakota. Uh, tell me a little bit about your fandom. Who do you, who do you root for, and uh, what, who can people talk to you about as far as uh, the certain teams you root for? Yeah, so I'm all, for pro sports, I'm all Chicago. Chicago Bears, Chicago Bulls, uh, Cubs. Those are my main teams. I'm a big Chicago Bears fan, unfortunately. Haven't given me a lot to cheer about recently. Um, and now, I'm, since I'm no longer a credentialed media member, I can say I'm a, a fan of University of Illinois. Uh, covered a lot of games there from a journalistic sense, uh, but also really enjoyed you know, covering some games at you know, State Farm Center, Memorial Stadium there in Champaign. And so I can say my Illini fandom is back. Uh, so open invitation if anybody sees you out in the games they want to talk a little shop that absolutely i can go all in deep on illinois football basketball recruiting you know the, the bears fifth round pick whatever you want to talk about yeah for sure what are you excited to bring to the minot community in the area around up here in uh, the northern North Dakota area of the state here. Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited to just continue putting out all the good things you guys do here that I, that I saw from the moment I checked out the kxnet.com. Uh, but I'm really also excited to, you know, bring a, 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 new, a unique flair, I guess, in, in storytelling and doing some creative, fun, interesting things that overall people just can enjoy and uh, can get a sense of, uh, you know, some unique local stories uh, that 
you know you might not hear anywhere else. All right, Tristan. You got a Twitter. I'm sure people will want to start following you, sir. Yeah. Throw it up. Yeah, you can follow me at Tristan Thomas TV on Twitter. Pretty simple. And you can email him at tthomas at kxnet.com. And if you got any story ideas for him up here, I'm sure we'll get it all covered. Absolutely, yeah. All right, Tristan. Welcome to the team.